this Cuomo stuff's fascinating me. It just it, it's fascinating me because I'm watching I'm watching this political theater play out in real life, and, and I can see clearly what's happening. But it's like everyone else can't look. These harassment claims, th- th- there's a lot of them. And I mean, there are a lot of them. They're probably real. So let's just establish that. I don't know whether or not they're real, but I'm assuming they are. Let's, let's set that aside, though. This probe, it came from Letitia James to take down Cuomo. That's one. She wants to take him down because she wants to be governor. Let's remember that. And the report comes out and it makes Cuomo look terrible, right? And then Cuomo, of course, makes this statement after after it comes out that he's grabbed like every woman who's ever worked for him. Cuomo comes out and says, well, yeah, I grab everybody. I do it with everyone, black and white, young and old, straight and LGBTQ, powerful people, friends strangers, people who I meet on the street. Bit of an oddball of defense, but okay, unorthodox. So I've enjoyed that part of it too. And I've enjoyed this part. The part where all these powerful Democrats have decided, okay, we've been defending him for a while. I mean, everyone knew this stuff was true. Everyone knows who the creeps are. Everybody. None of these people coming out and condemning Cuomo now are shocked, by the way. Everyone knows. Anyway, they're all coming out because they feel obligated to condemn him. Everybody from Joe Biden on down. Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, he should resign. He must resign. He's got to resign. And I find that part of all this theater interesting, too, because none of them actually will push for him to resign. They all made one statement, and that's all they'll make. They're not going to actually push for it because they don't care. They don't really care. The part I find most interesting about all this, though, is how the world seems to have forgotten. Joe Biden has these exact same claims dripping all over him. These things have been swirling around about Joe Biden for a long, long time. There's not like one picture or one video and well, maybe that was taken out of context. There's a lot of really, really, really uncomfortable looking video of Joe Biden out there all over people. And lots of the people Joe Biden was all over were kids. It looked really bad. I mean, you remember Jen Psaki even had to talk about it. President Biden was accused by female Secret Service agents of skinny dipping in front of them, offending them, according to former Washington Post reporter Ronald Kessler, who's an author as well. Uh, His former Senate aide, Tara Reid, accused him of sexual assault. Uh, The Washington Post and the New York Times have published multiple accounts of women who objected to the way President Biden touched them. Uh, Should there be an independent investigation of allegations into the president as there was into Governor Cuomo? Well, first I would say um, the president has been clear and outspoken about the importance of women uh, being uh, respected and having their voices heard and being allowed to tell their stories and people treating them with respect. That has long been his policy, continues to be his policy. Uh, that, those were, that was heavily litigated during the campaign. I understand you're eager to come back to it, uh, but I don't have anything further other than to repeat that he has called for uh, the governor to resign. I'm sorry, what? (laughs) I love these guys. I love the things these guys get away with. Oh, ma'am, Joe Biden has been accused of playing magic fingers with virtually every child and adult he comes into contact with. We have all these claims from very specific people. What do you have to say about that? Uh, uh, Joe Biden supports women, always has. Wait, what? (laughs) That's That's not an answer at all. That's not an explanation. And remember, we have specific women. We have Tara Reid. Poor Tara Reid, the most ignored human being on the face of the planet. She came out and said, quote, did I miss the investigation and litigation? I sure did not miss the smears and attacks on my character during Joe Biden's campaign as I came forward. Was it safe to come forward? I think not. Yeah, Tara Reid. You remember Tara Reid? The lady who, unlike, you know, people like Christine Blasey Ford, Tara Reid had specifics 
times, dates, details, uncomfortable details about Joe Biden. Now, I don't know whether or not she's telling the truth, but she had plenty of specifics out there. This is why I laugh about all this Cuomo stuff. None of these people care about women. None of them. They don't care about women being harassed. They don't care about Cuomo. They don't care about Tara Reid. They don't care about Joe Biden. This is all about power. I see it all for what it is now. And that's ugly, right? You want it. You, you Deep down, you want it to be about right and wrong, don't you? I do. I'll admit, I know that's idealistic. I want it to be about the country. I want it to be about right and wrong. None of this is about right and wrong. It's not about women. It's not about rich versus poor, black and white, LGBTQ. It's, it's not about anything but power. That's all it is. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.